All right, my friends, got a new patina project today. This is going to be a custom uh, patina on these Allen Edmonds strands in walnut. I'm also going to be doing a belt to match. Now, the belt, notice the color. This is not the same walnut as the shoe. This has got a lot more of an orangey tone to it uh, versus the more yellowish of the walnut. So, this will be a little tricky trying to get these to match. I mean, this belt almost looks like it's got some chili type tones to it. So, uh, we'll be doing both of them. Normally, when I do a project, I'll strip the entire shoe with acetone. But this time, I'm actually going to, because I'm keeping the base color the same, I'm actually going to just strip these with alcohol. So, this is more than anything just going to be removing any kind of waxes and things like that that's on the shoe just so it will absorb some dye. So I'm not trying to remove all of the factory finish. I'm really just trying to remove anything that's on the surface of it. So this is usually going to be enough to where it'll take the dye so I don't have to strip the entire thing. Now the belt, that might be a different story. We'll see how that one's going, but I think I will end up having to strip that. Again, this is just regular uh, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Just rubbing it over the entire shoe. The main concentration is usually going to be on the toe cap because that's where you're going to have more wax, things like that. But these don't look like they've been uh, heavily waxed, so I think they will do just fine. Heel. This is going to be the other place that uh, would be more typical to have a heavier wax coating. It's usually not going to be on the sides. It's going to be the toe and the heel, the non-flexing points of the shoe. And anytime I wax a pair, that's the only place I'm going to be putting wax heavily is on the toe and the heels. Get a new cloth. Let's wipe down on this belt. See what will come off of this thing. Uh, so yeah, a little bit is coming off of this belt compared to the shoe with just the alcohol. I have a feeling that once I strip this, the leather underneath is probably going to be a lot closer to the walnut color we want to begin with. See what's coming off of this belt. So looks like they added something to this that actually did not uh, <laughs> enhance the, the walnut finish. It looks like it, it uh, hid the walnut finish. So, yep, this is going to work. Do this entire belt just with the alcohol. A little bit of a defect here. That, that might be a little interesting. We'll see. I'm going to have to do some dye. I may have to even sand that a bit. Pause it there, we're going to get some dye out. Alright, so I stripped uh, the belt and wiped the shoes down one more time. Here's what I'm noticing. This belt, and again, yeah, honestly, it doesn't come up on the camera nearly as well as, as I'm looking at it, but this belt has much more of an orangey, peachy tone where the shoe is more of a yellow walnut. So here's an, a nice little trick. So I'm going to use this back surface of the belt here to experiment just a little bit. So like I said, I feel like it's missing some yellow. So I'm going to take this fivings yellow. I'm just going to put a little bit onto a little cotton applicator here. And I'm going to put some of that onto this. This is a great place to 
kind of play around with some colors until you get something that you feel like is going to match pretty well. And then if that's working, then I'll do the entire belt this way. This is a great way to kind of test it out without uh, messing anything up. So really my initial thought is that actually looks uh, pretty significantly better. So I think that's going to work just fine. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do the entire belt uh, this same way. Yeah, that is a much, much better match. So uh, that's going to do great. So I'm taking a little bit of a little cotton applicator here, dipped it in the yellow, and I'm just rubbing it down the length of this belt. And this is kind of eliminating some of that peachy, more orangey tone to it, bringing out the yellows. And it's going to give us a much better uh, walnut shade here. I use Fibing's Yellow a lot for a base color. I also like their beige quite a bit. It's also a good, uh, a good color, close to, to walnut. So yeah, you can see I'm just literally working my way down the length of the belt here. Usually what I'll do is I'll do one coat over the entire thing. I'll let it sit for a bit, see what it's looking like. Maybe go back over it. I think I am going to end up going back over it a second time, so we'll do a little bit of that. This funny area I was a little worried about, it's, it's covering up. It doesn't look too bad. I think once I finish all the dye work, that's not going to be noticeable. Alright, so now we're going to get to uh, adding some patina to the shoes. I'm going to use the Fibing's Light Brown going to add a little bit of patina. So really the, the goal on this pair, I'm not doing anything too wild, too heavy. Um, so light brown's good color. So I'm going to start at the toe. Always start at the place where you want it to be darkest and work your way backwards. So as I'm doing this, I end up touching this toe tip more frequently than I do the rest of the shoe. So it's going to end up getting more dye in that particular spot. I usually like to take it up maybe kind of halfway. To the center of the medallion somewhat. I will typically, so this is just kind of the, the first base coat, do a little, little bit of light brown in a number of different areas, and then on just the very tip of the toe, I usually go back over with brown, maybe even dark brown. But you can see already how this has added just a little bit of a, a burnish, a little bit of a, a subtle patina to the the toes here. That's already looking a little bit better to me. So I'm going to do the same thing in a few other areas. I'll do it to the heel. I usually like to do a little bit along the the broguing here. I also don't like an overly saturated brush so I'll dip it into a small amount of dye, and then a lot of times I'll end up uh, wiping it off on a, on a cloth just to get some of the excess dye off.
actually like to carry it a little bit past here too. Add a little bit of a, a darker accent in this area. Same thing on the other side. Carry this around over all the the broguing. I also like to usually go a little bit darker along the eyelets, and especially towards the top of them. Also, just kind of keep in mind that after I do this and I use a little bit of Saphir Renovateur or Venetian Shoe Cream, that it's actually going to remove just a little bit of dye. Kind of like it right here, too, just past Broguing. And then this heel area, typically like to darken it up a touch, too. lighter patch here. So I'm just going to darken up around there and that'll look a little bit better. Yeah. So I'm already liking the way this is looking. This is going to turn out really nice. I'm going to pause it here, do the other shoe the same way. Alright, so I'm working on the belt a little bit here. Basically, I'm taking that same light brown that I used on the shoe broguing, and I'm going along the length of the belt along the broguing here, too. I'll go a little bit more heavily on the toe tip. Not the toe tip, the belt tip. Same way I would do the tip of the uh, shoe. See what we're doing there, and same way you know, start at the tip, kind of work your way backwards. We'll keep it a little bit darker there, a little bit lighter as you go further up. But mostly, yeah, just getting it along the broguing, just at the tip of the belt as well. And I'll probably go even a touch uh, darker just on the tip there, too. All right, so we're going to pause it there, and I'll show you what the shoes are looking like. All right, so. Did the light brown on both shoes. You can kind of see where I did it on the toe, along the broguing, a little bit here, along this broguing, a little bit of accent on the heel. And did it the same on both. Now I'm going to use uh, a saphir dye. So this is the Havana. A little bit darker than the light brown, but still uh, not too, too dark. I like to just pour a little bit in the cap and just use that to kind of dab. And then again, really just very much on just the, the toe tip of this one. It's not going to take it as far up as we did the other. Yeah, so maybe midway up this, uh, kind of the diamond on the medallion there. And really when you're at this stage, you know, as this dye dries, it's kind of hard to tell because it, it, it leaves this pale kind of finish. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what it's going to look like. So, you know, you get to a point like this, sometimes it's good just to let it sit overnight, let everything absorb, and then uh, when you come back the next day, you kind of wipe some of it off, rehydrate the leather, and then see what you got. You may have to add a little bit more dye, but you might be done. I like to darken it up again, just a little extra on the toe and the heel here.
Yeah, I think that's probably a good place to stop it right there. And we'll come back and check it tomorrow, maybe add a little bit more, but we might be pretty close to done. So I think it's looking pretty good so far. So we've added the dye, we let it sit overnight, and now it's time to uh, rehydrate the leather. So you'll notice, if you look at the toe cap, just this kind of dull, uh, almost like a smoky finish to it. And that's just dry dye on the surface. So I like to take Sphere, run of a tour, and a cloth. And basically, this is just going to a very small dab of the sphere. And this is going to take some of the surface dye off of here. And then once that comes off, you can see really what the the color is underneath. And then you can decide if you need to add more or adjust it in any sort of a way. So you have quite a difference here compared to here. And I'll do the same thing on the other toe. And we'll do the same thing really over the entire shoe. Again, this is rehydrating the leather because we use a little bit of alcohol. Now let's just strip some of the finish. And so that alcohol dries out the leather a little bit. And even the, the dyes themselves are alcohol based. And so all of this tends to dry out the leather a little bit. But after you apply, she's going to be looking pretty nice. So I'm going to do that to both shoes. And then we'll see what we got. Alright, so wipe down both shoes with the Renovateur. And now really it's just giving them a good brushing here. And do that over both. same thing actually on the belt as well. So I wiped it down with kind of a tour and then I'll run over the length of it with the brush as well. And then the belt will get a nice uh, kind of soft shine. did with the belt as far as the dye. I went along the broguing and on the, the tip of the belt to kind of match that of the shoe. I'll do the same thing on the buckle. A little bit around here, a little bit here and here on the outside edges of this. So it matches the shoe much much better than what it did. So at this point, you know, really I'm feeling like all the dye work is done. I have a lot more intrigue than they did originally. Um, you can go darker, but you don't have to. So I think this looks great. Really the next step is going to be to add some uh, polish. So I would go to some wax polish, use a darker brown. It's going to kind of darken these toes up even a little further. Uh, add a little more accent and I'll do the same on the heel. But we are getting there. So this project is nearing its completion. So we're done with the dye work and really just looking at putting the high shine. Um, I went over the entire shoe with the Saphir Renovateur and just uh, gave it a brushing and already it's got a little bit of a soft shine to it. So now we're going to go for the mirror shine. So I've got this little water dispenser. This is from Shoe Care Shop. It's been great. A little bit of a uh, cloth from Mr. Renworks on Instagram. Thank you, uh, Mr. Renworks, for that. So I do a little dab of water. Get a little bit of the excess off. I'm using Saphir. PDL, Pat Deluxe. 
a little bit of dab of wax on here and then just with some circular motions going to be putting this on the toe and doing a higher concentration on the toe tip and then kind of slowly work my way up the toe but I'm going to spend most of the time just on the toe tip here And when you do this, you'll find that it removes just a little bit of dye. And that's all right. Also getting a little drop of water. So every time you do the, the polishing stage, I find that it takes just a little tiny bit of dye off the surface of the uh, shoe. And that's fine. It kind of helps to blend things a little bit better. Dab, same thing on the other side. Some people like to use the mirror gloss first to build up the layer, and then the PDL. I actually like to do the PDL first. Adding in just a little bit of uh, color, a little bit of pigmented dye into the, the pores. And then I'll switch to the neutral mirror gloss. And then I'll go back to the PDL. So again, this is just adding a little bit of PDL. Do the toe, do the same thing on the heel. And even though this is removing a little bit of dye at the same time, it's adding some, some darker brown pigment from the, from the wax. I'm going to put that away for now. I'm going to get just a little bit of neutral mirror gloss. Mirror gloss. It's a little bit drier wax. This one here. A little bit drier. Um, I like the neutral. And this is going to give us a nice base layer to build up our mirror shine with. So what really what we're doing, we're just filling in the pores of the leather. I tend to not film this uh, entire process because yeah, it can take 30 minutes, sometimes an hour. But already, yeah, this is starting to develop a pretty high shine. So I'll do a couple rounds just like that with the mirror gloss. And adding a, a little dab of water. You do have to be careful not to overhydrate the leather. So every now and then this will happen. You'll get a spot that just will not uh, shine. It'll look kind of rough. And that is just an area where it is oversaturated. Really the best thing at that point, just walk away, let it sit overnight, go at it again the next day. So I'm going to pause it here. I'll go over both shoes um, with the uh, mirror gloss and we'll pick it up kind of right at the end stage. So I've done a few more rounds of wax. So I did the mirror gloss a couple rounds and then PDL on top. The last step that I typically like to do using this high shine chamois from Hanger Project. So I'll take this, another little dab of water. Don't want it too saturated. And then 
whole time I'm buffing with the wax, doing circular motions. But at the very end, this, this cloth has no wax on it. Just a dab of water. I do this high speed front to back motion. And I feel like this helps to really bring out the, the mirror shine at the end. And the same thing on the other side, and then really it's. Uh, we are complete. And on the belt. Go over the entire belt uh, with the mirror shine as well, and don't quite go full mirror on it because it's got to bend and, and flex. But I do go over the belt one time with uh, the wax as well, give it a little bit of a shine. But uh, yeah, we are a complete, much better match between the belt and the shoe. So now we're going to just lace them up and they are ready to go. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, seeing the process. You can see more of my work under MB Shoe Doc on Instagram, and now I'll be posting uh, videos to YouTube as well. So hopefully you guys will like, subscribe, uh, comment, ask questions. I'll try to get back to anyone as quickly as possible. Thank you much. And the last thing I'll mention is I do tend to like to lace these up with the bar lacing, and also include these Fintico laces with a Berluti knot. So the colored laces aren't for everyone, but it's just something fun that I like to do. And I always include the original laces back to the client. But um, I'll probably do a video at some point showing the uh, bar lacing and the Berluti knot, just so people know how to tie it. It's a nice symmetrical knot, and it doesn't come untied or loosened during the day. So it's just been fantastic. It's the only thing I tie now. But yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this.